purchase price, no questions asked. Really, it's that good. For the first time ever, all of the greatest hits and stars of the 70s are together in one. Every song in the ultimate 70s is the original hit recording, and everyone has been you're traveling through a new dimension, a dimension of sight, a dimension of sound. Mr. Pat Lewis Sapia, searching for that elusive payoff for his work, looking for answers in the fantasy world of a TV screen. But this is no ordinary TV, because tonight Mr. Sapia will find the potential for unique possibilities as he takes us on a journey, a journey into the impressionistic world of the character zone. My name's Buford T. Porkbelly. I'm the sheriff in these here parts, and I means to keep the law. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you folks, but this is very important. Working on a serious case there. There was a man found in a restaurant. He had a knife sticking out from between his shoulder blades. Dead. Well, it was just a problem of miscommunication. What happened was the man needed a utensil to eat. So the maitre d' gave a knife to the head waiter, and he said, here, would you give this to that man in the back? This is not a very bright waiter, but I got him in custody. They have everything there itself, but I thank you for your cooperation. Sorry to bother you with this. Good evening, this is Robin Leach, and welcome to Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, the show that brings you into the homes of stars and shows you wondrous things you'll never be able to afford. Tonight we'll be broadcasting live from Fantasy Island. Take it away, Mr. Rock and Tattoo. Hey, boss, look. They plan, they plan. Yes, I see. Tell me, Tattoo, what would you like for your fantasy? You know, boss, we've been on this island a long time, and you're going to look pretty good to me. Maybe me and you can get together. You know, dance, get funky. We... Does the term fat chance mean anything to you, Tattoo? Hello. You know, my wife and I have been on this farm as long as I can remember. Yesterday was our 50th wedding anniversary. She said, hey, Elmer, go out there and kill a chicken. I said, hey, babe, why kill a chicken for something that happened 50 years ago? <laughs> Georgia. Georgia. The whole day through. Just an old sweet song. Leave Georgia on my mind. Just an old sweet song. Leave the Georgia on my mind. Yes, it does. All right. How about some Pepsi, baby? Who? Q? Your Q? Get off my ship. We don't need any other aliens to contend with. We've got plenty of aliens on board already. Q, let me ask you a question. What's 2Q plus 2Q? Right, 4Q, now get off my ship. Absolutely, I'll tell you what, everybody thinks I'm a tough guy, but the other day, some guy stole all my wife's credit cards, you know, but I'm not even gonna turn them in. Why should I? He's spending less than she did, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Hey, what's up? Cat Lewis here. <laughs> I just got back from the doctors. The wife and I have been trying to procreate, uh, procreate okay, have some kids. And the doctor says I'm impotent, so I went out and got myself some nice duds. I figured if I'm impotent, I might as well look impotent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, hey, catch you coming up on the downside, huh? Yeah. <laughs> blue, blue, blue suede shoes, huh? Blue, blue. Blue suede shoes, well you can do the same, but they all from a blue suede shoe. All right. All right, baby. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I know some of you ladies will like part of my scarf, so <clears throat> I got pieces of scarves for you. And when you get that home, ladies, you can do with it whatever you like. All right. Ooh, I tell you, I get no respect. Are you kidding? No respect at all. When I was born, I didn't get no respect. The doctor showed me to my mother. He said, here's your little treasure. She said, ooh, let's bury it. Are you kidding? You know, now when I have sex with my wife, she gives me no respect either, you know. She likes to do it doggy style. 
That means I sit up and beg and she barks at me. I'll tell you, no respect at all, you know. Ah, guten Abend. I am your host, Klaus von Klutz. Welcome to my cooking show, Hot Stuff from the Fatherland. Tonight we have a very special recipe for Wiener Schnitzel made with red sauce and cheese. In some places it's known as Ville Parmesan. <laughs> Oh, oh, Archie, I didn't like that plane ride at all. I was afraid, afraid. Oh, gee, see, the weird stuff for yourself there, huh? That plane ride wasn't all that bad there. After all, it did wonders for your constipation problem, didn't it there, huh? Moonlight and love songs never had a date, sweetheart, and hearts. Full of passion, lots of passion, jealousy, and cholesterol. And a woman, a woman needs man, and man needs woman seven, eight times a week at least. And doesn't mean man gets woman seven, eight times a week, sweetheart, but that's the way it'll be as time, as time goes by. Here's looking at you, kid. Hello. Jonathan Thimblefinger here, genetic scientist. I'm proud to announce that we have created a three-legged chicken for those of you who enjoy an extra-legged dinner. They're quite mobile little creatures. I'm not sure quite how they taste yet, though. However, we haven't been able to catch one yet. She stood there laughing. Very weird girl. I felt the knife in my hand. She laughed no more. All right, everyone sing it with me now. Here we go. Oh, forget about it. I know all the places where they cater to guys like us. Like Vinny's Pub. Come on, we'll go get a couple of knuckle sandwiches. Uh, they got Veal Oscar, which was, by the way, named after one of my boys who disappeared last year. And my favorite, where do you taste this? Broken leg of lamb. It's fantastic. Oh, come on, forget about it. I know where to go. Come on with me. Oh, good evening, my friend. Don't be afraid. I just dropped in for a drink. One of my favorites, of course. Bloody Mary's. <laughs> oh, good evening, monsieur. Welcome to the men's room here at Shame on You. We have some excellent reading material for you. We have a Gentleman's Quarterly, Wall Street Journal, Hustler, Hustler, good choice, monsieur. There you are. Oh, oh, by the way, monsieur, in this room, we tip before you, uh, you understand. Oh, <laughs> merci, monsieur. <laughs> La toilette number three for monsieur. Enjoy. <laughs> Mr. Pat Lewis Sapia finding that special place once again, a place where he can escape the commonality of life and create any number of new or familiar personalities, a place he can call upon any time for any needed purpose. For Mr. Pat Lewis Sapia has found his niche, a niche to him, a notch to you, because if you ever want to reach him, he can always be found in that special place, the place we call the character zone. back.